Hi, my name is Margarita Maribel, and I'm the principal of Hampton Street School. We serve over 360 students and families in a diverse community in pre-kindergarten through second grade. Mineola Union Free School District was one of the first districts to have a one-to-one -one iPad initiative. Teachers use the iPad as a tool to deliver curriculum and differentiate instruction. At Hampton Street School, we have three instructional leaders that deliver professional development, making sure that there is both vertical and horizontal alignment. When you have strong teachers, you have good teaching, successful students, and a great school. Teachers at Hampton Street School meet each week with their professional learning community to share expertise, analyze data, and work collaboratively to improve teaching and learning. Our professional learning communities are teams that inspire and empower one another. It's like a think tank where we embrace a mindset where we believe every child is capable of achieving. Our job is to problem solve on how to get children to get there. As a team, we think about goals for our children based on data. We sit at a table as if it were a boardroom and we talk about specific scenarios. We research, we read, we talk, we collaborate. And so those are our planning times. And what happens within our classrooms is our classrooms are like laboratories, where it's a lab for the students for learning, but it's also a lab for teachers because we're using that as our opportunity to learn. We've had a strong focus on reading instruction during our professional development sessions. And we've tied that into our professional learning communities. Some of the things that we were noticing for our students that were below level was that they were struggling with their fluency. So we decided to look at a few different things together. We looked at their words per minute, how they were phrasing as they read, and whether they were reading using the punctuation or not. We came back together at our PLC and talked about what we found. We found that all of our students were progressing using the strategies that we were focusing on. After extensive work in reading instruction, our instructional leaders decided to focus on writer's workshop to strengthen that component. My classroom is made up of many English language learners, so we wanted to close the gaps for them. And we were able to see exactly how to close those gaps by analyzing the data together and tackling those challenges as a group. These objectives were student friendly, so they knew exactly what was expected of them. And at the end of each lesson, we self-assessed to decide if we met our goals or didn't meet our goals. We have had great success with our dual language program where our students alternate weeks in an all English speaking class and then an all Spanish speaking class. I don't always get the opportunity to see the students in action performing in English. So when I go to my PLCs, it gives me that opportunity to see the student data and see the student work in English. And that gives me the chance to view the child as a whole bilingual child and not just this is what they're doing in Spanish and this is what they're doing in English. We started this research unit off by giving the students a little bit of information on each of the habitats. And to help them, my dual language partner and I provide the students with anchor charts that are practically identical. All of these things help in the dual language program because the students can make an easier connection from one language to another. With our focus on student choice during PLCs this year, we tried to think outside of the box. Then came the idea of interest-based learning. We wanted students to have the opportunity within their school day to have a choice to work on something of interest to them that was outside of the academic day. Students come to the library, they choose which activity they would like to participate in. This IBL time offers the students a chance to further their interests and to also discover interests that they may not have known. The students love coming to IBL. And they're learning about themselves and they're, they're acquiring skills that they probably didn't even know they had. Our PLCs have been quite successful because of the dedicated teachers and the belief in the process. Collaboration is the key to the success of our professional learning communities led by our strong teacher leaders. We are extremely proud of the work we do here at Hampton Street School, which results in great teaching and learning in each and every classroom.